Hey everyone, I'm Joe, and today I'm going to be making a mechanical sine wave machine. So I'm going to remind myself a little bit of where the sine wave actually comes from. I'm going to start with a circle, like this, and I'm going to move around the circle, like that. And as I do, I'm going to move along the x-axis on my sine graph. At each point going around the circle, I want to record the height, and that gives me the sine wave, like so. There's actually this thing you can do where you do it manually. So with one hand, I'm going to draw a circle, and the other hand, I'm going to move along the page in a line, but keeping both hands at the same height, and this should... Draw a sine wave. Okay, that's, that's really tricky. <laughs> Let's try again. There we go. Pretty good. So basically, I want a machine that does this. So we need the pen to move across the paper horizontally, but also we want a wheel to move round as it does to push it from side to side. We could actually do a vertical wheel and push it from side to side like that. That might be better. Okay, I think I have an idea. This is live fill. Ow. This is don't, don't, don't die. So this is my grandpa's Meccano set. It's like sheets of metal. You have like nuts and bolts and you screw them together to make like cars and stuff, which is quite cool. One of the like advantages of lockdown is obviously that I have all of this stuff. I'm actually gonna build this thing. Yesterday I put together the chassis, so I've got the wheels on, on the bottom to move the pen across. This wheel at the front will rotate, moving the pen from side to side. The reason that I've added the extra wheel on top is so that I can attach the pen at two points, which should keep it vertical. So now I need to find a way to keep the pen touching the paper. So I'm looking for a pipe. Hmm. Okay. So this is where I've got to so far. This pipe will move from side to side as the wheels rotate. And if I just put a pen in there, Gravity will keep the pen on the page as this moves from side to side. So that's given me the sidewards motion generated by the circular motion. So what I really need is I need a way of moving this forward and also rotating this at the same rate. So the device I found is this old hand drill, which also belonged to my grandpa. It converts rotation in one axis to rotation in another axis. If I attach it onto here, I can move this along the table, rotating the wheel. As I do, it will rotate the discs at the front. So let's test it out. Like I was doing at the start, I am moving along in a straight line and around the circle. Let's, let's see if this works. Okay, uh, that's not quite.
We are getting a little bit, but what's happening is the resistance of the gears here is too high. And it's meaning that even though I'm moving it along the table, I can't get this wheel to rotate. Yeah, I really thought that was going to work. So I decided to call it a day yesterday. I've had a couple of ideas about how to solve the problem of the wheel not turning. I've got a rubber band I'm going to attach around it. This will act like a tyre and offer more resistance with the surface. And I've got some WD-40 to lubricate the gears. So let's see if it works. So that is how you make a mechanical sine wave machine. Ding! <laughs> Joe's just lost purpose in life. <laughs> Joe's like, oh no!